Today, we're gonna to talk about some of the best coffee makers that you could possibly purchase on the market. One thing I really want to emphasize on all of this is that there are so many variables in all of these things. But ultimately, who really gives a shit? We have a, a Mr. Coffee, uh, we have a Compresso, we have the Proctor Silix, no idea what that is. And we have the Black & Decker. We have Cooks. Couldn't tell you much about Cooks, other than it's probably the worst one of the bunch. But first up today, we're gonna look at the uh, Compresso. This one has a particular cone-shaped filter that we're gonna put in there. Let me go and place our water. With the Compresso, we have lots of really good features. Particularly on this one, I like how it catches a lot of the coffee grounds. Keeps it extremely dirty on the inside. Sometimes it can really add some flavor. As the heat rises from the condensation, it can really release some of those molecules. Add it back into your coffee, so you can really taste some of the older coffee grounds from the last few weeks of your coffee brewing. So next, we're gonna talk about Mr. Coffee. Now, Mr. Coffee has a newer model. This has lots and lots of options and features. The brew head here has a nice little swivel on it. Just give it a nice little measure. Get your brew head. The Cooks here is coming in at a massive disadvantage. A substantially lower price. And uh, you can tell that by the build. We have lots of plastic around here, and even with the chrome finish here, it's not probably gonna brew coffee quite as well as the others. Honestly, this might be my favorite machine out of all of them. This is an antique vintage model, Proctor Silex. One of the things that I really love about this one is the simplicity of it. So after trying all of these out, we really decided that the Mr. Coffee and the Capresso were the most simplistic while brewing the best cup of coffee. Even though the Capresso, for example, took approximately 25 minutes. Well, here we go. The aromatics are very present, surprisingly. That is delicious. I choose the Mr. Coffee overall when we're looking at the holistic picture of the coffee. Between the aromatics, the fragrance, the body, the flavor, the acidity. If you're gonna brew shitty coffee at home, this is the way to do it. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. And until then, I'll say thanks for watching. Have a great day.